we're aiming for 30 minutes as a baseline for your productivity every day. Because for many of us, when we struggle with procrastination, our baseline for effort is zero. Many days will go by when I don't do anything. I have zero hours done. We're just raising that up to a new threshold, a new lower threshold, which is 30 minutes. At least every day now is going by and I'm doing something towards my goal in this. Hey there, it's David. I have a question um, on procrastination and uh, I'm going to answer a question here from uh, a subscriber to to my online course on, on procrastination and as you may have know as you may know by now in, in my, my procrastination approach is quite different to many of the other approaches that are out there and um, it's really not about pushing yourself hard all the time it's this it's mentality of actually no let me just put in some healthy boundaries with this set myself as a priority work on my self-esteem, do some inner work on myself, and then the work will come. And there are practical things you can do in terms of scheduling your work and things like that that I talk about in detail in the course. But this is a question from Jenny. And Jenny is talking about, she's recently taken the course. She's determined to change her perception of work away from this have-to mindset that I talk about in the course, which is toxic to motivation. Have to, have to, have to, need to, most, 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 all the time. Changing the language is a part of the course that I talk about into from away from have to into choose to want to. And it's already had an effect and she agrees with the approach that I'm using. However, she says, I struggle uh, in seeing half an hour as a win. OK, so by that, what I mean is in, in the course, in my approach to uh, procrastination, I emphasize, well, what is our biggest hurdle? What's our biggest obstacle? And for many of us, it's the feeling of being overwhelmed. Uh, I, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know where to begin. And, and our nervous system goes into this, we've all heard of the fight or flight uh, response of the nervous system. But with procrastination, it's freeze. It just freezes, it gets so overwhelmed. Okay, our nervous system is telling, sending this signal, this is too much, this is too much, I don't know where to start with this, and then we, we freeze. So I tell people, look, only focus, never tell yourself you're going to do three hours of work or four hours of work or these mammoth long sessions. Only ever tell your nervous system to commit to doing 30 minutes at a time. Now, you may well end up doing more than 30 minutes, but you only consciously ever commit to doing 30 minutes because that's a conversation with your nervous system you're having when that's happening. And you're trying to, con to, to take the side of the nervous system. You're trying to say, look, I hear you. We're only doing this easy step, this next easy step. And then the, the whole point of this is that that will make it much easier for you to move you know, off the couch or into work or to actually start this thing. I also tell people, if at the end of the 30 minutes you're struggling with it or anything like that, you stop, okay? You stop and you, and you go and do something else. But uh, Jenny says here that she's struggling to, to see the, the half hour of work that she has put in as a, a positive thing. She's currently studying for a test to get into university, and she's constantly thinking that a half an hour of work won't be enough. Even though, as I've pointed out, um, I wouldn't do anything if I aim for longer hours. So do you have any tips on still feeling bad when I'm not studying after having completed the 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah. So I bet Jenny, you are very motivated by this and uh, by the goal. I know that you're motivated by this and I know that you want to do well in this, 100%. So it's not a question of wanting because I know consciously that you do want to do well in this. The issue is always, what can I get my nervous system to agree to, okay? Now, over time, if you just stick with this plan of small steps, small steps, over a con it's very, very hard for us to perceive this but consistent small efforts over a long enough uh, frame of time leads to enormous benefits down the road, okay? What we don't want to have is no effort, no effort, no effort, huge effort, no effort, no effort, like inconsistently, that, like these huge spikes in productivity and huge long periods of lulls in our productivity. 
there's many reasons for that. Momentum, psychological momentum is one of them I've talked about in the past. But it's, I get what your, where your question is coming from here because it is hard for us to perceive 30 minutes consistently as, as going to make a difference. But that's only because we can't perceive it in the short term. If you stick with this philosophy over months and even years, it is inevitable that you're going to come out well ahead on this. So we're aiming for 30 minutes as a baseline for your productivity every day. Because for many of us, when we struggle with procrastination, our baseline for effort is zero. Many days will go by when I don't do anything. I have zero hours done. We're just raising that up to a new threshold, a new lower threshold, which is 30 minutes. At least every day now is going by and I'm doing something towards my goal in this. And then you can have days when you have, I, I say you mix uh, consistency with rare moments of greatness. So there's 30 minutes, I'm doing things every day, something towards it. And then when I feel that, that positivity, I feel that motivation, I feel like my nervous system is on my, my side, I will put in much higher effort on occasion. Now, this is rolling 30 minute blocks, I usually say to people. You only ever commit to 30 minutes at a time. So you say to yourself, look, I'll do 30 minutes. You go, you do the 30 minutes, maybe you feel like continuing. Maybe you do an hour, maybe you do 45 minutes. Beautiful, take a break. Next step, continue to only commit to 30 minutes at a time. And at the end of the day, you might look back and you've got two and a half hours, three hours done. Okay. Um, when I was doing this, I was, again, I've said this in so many videos here, but I was a chronic procrastinator. Weeks would go by when I wouldn't do anything. And it was all this guilt story, this, this not good enough narrative. But when I started to do this, I started to become finally I started to get consistency and there was no longer these long, long breaks in this. So, and I had these moments then when I would actually do at times when I started to get over this procrastination stuff, some days, and I'm not advocating this, but some days I was doing nine hours of solid work and it was pretty regular, nine hours of solid focused work. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that that should be the norm. Okay. At all 30 minutes, should be the baseline and that's all you're aiming for everything beyond 30 minutes is a baseline or is a, is a bonus but what i am saying here is you have no idea how capable you are and how how capable of massive productivity you are until you really resolve this issue of procrastination you're doing the work you're putting in the effort you're well on track and see this as a long-term growth process for you okay this is not something you have to get perfect at straight away your growth trajectory here is like this, okay? You're going up and up and you're improving all the time with this. You're gonna improve the relationship you have with yourself. You're going to develop self-trust. And once you get more of that self-trust and we stop that self-sabotage cycle or mechanism that is inherent to procrastination, your, your trajectory is only gonna go one way and it's up. So do you want to reach out again? Um, let me know if that was helpful. I hope it was. And uh, for anyone else that's interested in this, you can go to my website. The link is below. Um, you can either buy my book on procrastination or you can sign up for my online video course, which you can also get the book uh, as a bonus in that. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to overcome this issue. And uh, so far it's helping a lot of people. So I'm really, really pleased about that. I'll leave it there for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.